Central. So we've got that. Where's our other dude? There he is. Um, my personal method for direct orbital rendezvous is to time warp until my target craft, when you're in about an 80, 80 kilometer orbit, you time warp till the target craft gets over Kerbal India. I totally call this Kerbal India. It looks like India kind of sticking down. Of course, I'm from Texas. I've never been to India. I'm aware of its general shape on the map, but if this is not exactly what India looks like, who cares? It's close enough. All right, so there we go. We're just over Kerbal India. I've got tons of thrust to wait on my craft on the launch pad, so I'm going to wait till it gets to the far shore of Kerbal India. Like that. Switch back, throttle up. Da -da -da -da. And I think I set this guy right about there. And fix my staging, and... <laughs> So we'll get this guy up in the sky. And again, as we're going up here, this guy's going to keep hurtling along here. Remember, he keeps falling and missing Kerbin, <laughs> staying in his orbit. But he's going, what, 2269 meters per second. That is many meters per second. That's why we have to launch from right here when he's so far ahead of us. Because clocking along at 2.3 kilometers per second, he's going to cover this distance very quickly. And remember, we're going to do our gravity turn and kind of turn off this way so basically in the time that I want it's gonna take me to get up here he's gonna to have to cross this entire distance and that's why we launch when he's over Kerbal India um, of course if I don't shut my mouth and pay attention to the rocket I'm going to miss all of the appropriate command inputs so let's see here back to the rocket 160, yeah, again, we're going a little bit slower. I could have given a little bit more throttle. But our next goal is 260 at 10K. So there we got eight. We got nine. We're gonna be going a little fast here, it looks like. 260, there we go, good deal. We'll start the gravity turn right there after 10. See if I can keep from flipping out of control like I did last time. This one is flipping out of control, too. Look at this. What is going on? <laughs> All right. Whatever, man. Old Bob here will just do an awesome orbital uh, orbital maneuver here. <laughs> and we'll just burn like this. I am not exactly sure why these rockets are flipping out of control, but whatever. Look at that. And then it comes into control again. Who knows? <laughs> it's got to have something to do with the way I'm doing that gravity turn and the fact that we're still in atmosphere. Probably I've got a lot of drag up here, and so it's acting as a lawn dart, and it's flipping me around if you have a bunch of junk on one into your rocket. Because of the way that Kerbal Space Program handles, uh, I don't even know if I should call it aerodynamics, because it's not really, <laughs> handles the rough approximation that it calls aerodynamics. 85 too high way too high yeah whatever all right we can fix it look at that whoa <laughs> that's what happens when you fly a lot of missions in Kerbal Space Program wow but also, honestly that was that was a bit of a, a screw up there let's go ahead and add the maneuver here we're not gonna really be able to do this we need to burn radial in we need to give it lots of a a a delta V prograde. Damn it, I don't even think I can plan this node fast enough. Oh, radial, radial, radial. Wrong radial. Put the Apple apps down near the node. Give it MOS delta V. All right, we're going to have to start burning like right freaking now. Yes, we are. Look at that. All right, so I totally understand that I was trying not to skip through some of these topics too quickly. That was one of the situations where I just had to do it as fast as I could, because um, time was of the essence. If I didn't start that burn soon enough, I would not have uh, been able to kill off this relative target velocity fast enough, and he would have gone thoom, flying by me. Let's see here. We'll just go ahead and start using our pushing the green. 
methods here. And luckily we've got good thrust of weight. 1.76. Let's see here. Burn it over. He is definitely getting past me though. That's 5.5 at 300 meters per second relative. Come on, baby. Stay on target. There we go. We're coming up right at him. So what I'm trying to do is keep the green thing pushed towards the pink thing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this rendezvous. Hot diggity dog, people. <laughs> That is how you do it. And that is a direct orbital rendezvous. <laughs> That's like throwing a baseball at a golf ball as it flies over you and hitting it directly. That was freaking outstanding because there is uh, there's our craft that we wanted to rendezvous with. And as you can see, rendezvous accomplished. Dang. It's almost like I practiced that. That was mostly blind luck, by the way. I could do that a thousand more times, and it would not turn out that way. Yeah, hey, thanks, AdFaster. <laughs> I appreciate it. I mean, that was that was direct orbital to rendezvous. I mean, look, KSC is right freaking here. We're not mission elapsed times five minutes from KSC. And we're, we've already orbited or uh, rendezvoused with our target ship. Wow, that's awesome. That makes me feel good. I'm glad I got that one on tape. <laughs>